Hello. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, welcome to the court of the EDI Jester. How are we all? We're off. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to start with something today uh, to just get you the juices, the juices flowing. Right, okay, I've come across something interesting on X. I've become a warrior teacher, usual stuff. Buy me a coffee, you can help out, please. That'd be great. Or subscribe and become a just right. Number of ways you can support me. Thank you if you do. Right, so this is really interesting. It comes from someone called Justin and I on the Twitter, Old Books Guy, at Old Books Guy is the name. So I'll get, you can go and have a read the thread, it's in the Dubris. But this is interesting. We know, you know, I know that we are essentially fighting um, an, a pseudoscience, anti-science individuals. who It's the social sciences in which this rotten edifice was first born. So it's interesting to have a look at and see historical occurrences of the same problem. I, well, what happens when the nut jobs get power? Because that's what we're seeing. We've got nut jobs with power. I mean, mind you, there's less green nut jobs with power today than there was yesterday. That wibbling interview with Harvey was just genius, right? And there was so. Have you seen the one with the guy with the kazoo doing um, somewhere over the rainbow in the background while they're talking? <laughs> Absolute genius, right? So here's an interesting one for you of a previous time in which we allowed the lunatics to take over the asylum, right? Um, and it's after the French revolutionaries beheaded the king, they had another bright idea. Let's make the day 10 hours long. This is not a joke. Left-wing experts actually change the length of minutes, hours and weeks in the name of science. Well, obviously pseudoscience. This is the story of that disaster. The French revolutionaries adopted a new calendar for three reasons. To eliminate a religious consciousness from the French society. To make time more rational. To announce the birth of an egalitarian era. In their zeal, they forgot an important factor, human nature. Why is it that the left always forgets human nature? The left, the nutty left, forgets human nature. Yeah. This is a story of political arrogance. The revolutionaries overestimated the power of science and underestimated the stickiness of religion. One hour equals 100 minutes. One minute equals 100 seconds. The new year shifted from the 1st of January to the 22nd of September. A radical attempt to redefine time itself. Isn't this fascinating? In France, from 1793 to 1805, one day had ten days. One week had ten days. The seventh day, traditionally a holiday or holy day, became a typical weekday. An attempt at secularisation. Every tenth day was made the rest day. John Adams called this change superficially frivolous and coarsely vulgar. <laughs> John Adams adequately describing the French state of mind at the time. Sociologist, sociologist Zara Bavel notes that the 10-day week was meant to disrupt the traditional sacred seven-day seven -day cycle. Purpose was to disorient people and make them lose track of Sunday. <laughs> that is the day for going to church and having a weekly sit down with the divine, right? This is just great. This is like someone out of a Monty Python sketch. The French revolutionary calendar was designed by the top experts of the day. The chief designer, C.G. Rome, a physics professor. Just go to show you, see? We see these lunatics in academia do what they're doing around gender and critical social justice. And we think because they're smart, they're the ones that won't do it. It's absolutely insane. It's exactly the reverse, exactly the reverse. They're so up themselves, they think they know everything. Mathematicians and astronomers chipped in. Traditional old habits didn't matter. The designers answered solely to the principles of reason and science. Socialist Zerubavl, the revolutionary calendar, was introduced in an age which advocated the total obliteration of the old order in the name of progress and modernity. The beginnings of the new Republican era marked the total discontinuity between past and present. Ring a bell? <laughs> this is a great piece. Oh, it pulled down the statues, decolonised marzipan. You know, whatever it is these nutters are doing today. Every calendar has critical dates which are suffused with symbolic importance. The revolutionary changed the first day of the year from January the 1st to the 22nd of September, the day of the foundation of the French Republic. Society was to spin not around religion, but politics. 
Days which had a unique flavour due to their religious significance, like the Saints' Day, Sundays and the Church's religious holidays, were abolished. Each day became mathematically and symbolically alike. Differences were to be erased, whether among people or on the calendar. That's what we're dealing with. Absolute unmitigating fruit loops. By adopting calendrical rhythms alien to the rest of the world, the French created artificial barriers to communication, understanding and ultimately trade. This is what happens when you give these people power, right? How would you fix it? Well, they can give it to them until they took it by force. It's almost like that might end like that. It might end that way, you know, these loons. How would you fix delivery, for example, schedules, delivery schedules from a country whose calendar is untranslatable into yours? Well, you've got a problem here. What? It's bad enough with time zones, which are actually based on science. Ask your average warrior teacher in Canada, Spain, you know, Romania, wherever the level they are. So imagine you're a Frenchman in 1793. The revolutionaries have not just beheaded the king and slaughtered their own, but have also made the, ten, the week 10 days long. The day is now 10 hours, not 24. Your old clocks and your old instincts need to be thrown out. By denouncing all authority as arbitrary, the revolutionary finally harms himself. On what grounds would he govern once the king is gone? In hindsight, we can see the boomerang effect of the calendar redesign. If the old dogmas were random, why are the new ones any better? The people hated the new calendar. It made them work for nine days straight instead of six. <laughs> Plus, it was confusing. You think? Special clocks were made to translate the revolutionary calendar into the Gregorian calendar and back. People's age-long habits were redesigned without their consent. Men can be women. Women can be men. It's, you know, parallels. Let's go back. Now let's move forward a bit. Stalin imposed a new calendar too. Oh, colour me surprised. The week was cut to five days to eliminate the holiday of Sunday. Days were assigned colours and workers were given colours. When it was your coloured day, you took a day off. People say to me all the time, this, you can't believe that this is going anywhere near that. Really? Really? I can't believe you don't think it's not. You understand these people's minds. You understand how mad they are. <clears throat> Families and friends had different coloured days, so they never hung out. <laughs> it disrupts and destroys everything. Right, now, <clears throat> what Josh Jash has also put on this tweet, there's some great pictures of artefacts from that time in France. Where the same sort of thing as is happening now is obviously the same sort of thing that was happening with Man Stalin is where we've got lunatics running the show. Lunatics running the show. I mean, when we've dealt with gender, we've got to deal with them, haven't we? Anybody thought about how we're going to do that? <laughs> I thought it was fascinating. It's in the Dubris. Go and have a look. Come and be a warrior teacher. Other than that, have a grand evening. Good to talk or, or day or morning or wherever it is you are. I'll see you later.